Hi. With all the panic buying that's currently occurring in the UK due to the spread of the coronavirus, supplies of hand soap, sanitizers, and surface cleaning equipment are almost non-existent in supermarkets. But if you are concerned about sanitising surfaces in a room where the virus might remain active for anywhere between a few hours and several days, there are other ways to do this without needing to buy chemicals. Ozone has been proven to kill SARS coronavirus, and since the structure of the new 2019 coronavirus is almost identical to that of SARS, it's relatively safe to say that ozone should be effective with that too. Ozone is a naturally occurring gas formed from oxygen atoms. The oxygen molecule is made up from two oxygen atoms, and by using corona discharge, the two atoms can be split into single atoms. Single oxygen atoms can't exist alone without regrouping back into diatomic oxygen molecules, and during this recombination stage, some atoms will regroup into loosely bonded triatomic oxygen, called ozone. Ozone typically destroys viruses by oxidising the exterior protein shell or capsid, or by diffusing through the shell and damaging the viral RNA. Now we can easily build our own ozone generator with only a few items. So first of all, just take your favourite family photo and using the glass out of the frame, you can attach a piece of foil or metallic tape to each side. Then attach some electrodes from a high voltage source and position it safely in the room that needs sanitising. When the device is powered up, ozone will be produced from the corona discharge and it will increase in concentration in the room, inactivating any viruses present on any surfaces. So effectively, we are killing coronavirus with corona. Now for this demonstration, I'm using a neon sign transformer that's capable of outputting 11,000 volts at 25 milliamps. It is possible to use much smaller power supplies such as this high voltage cold cathode fluorescent driver, or something like a ignition transformer from a car, or even from a oil-fired boiler. But the smaller the power supply, the less ozone is going to be produced. Ozone generators are nothing new, and they have been around for a long time for sanitising areas. They're also excellent for removing bad smells. So for example, if you've recently bought a vehicle where the previous owner was a smoker, if you set up an ozone generator inside that vehicle, the smells will be eliminated for good. You do have to make sure that you don't remain in the room and that there's no pets present, as it is quite a dangerous substance and it causes irritation or damage of the respiratory tract. So you should set it up on a timer and then have a means to ventilate the room or the area after treatment. So I hope you found the video useful. Keep washing your hands and stay safe. And until next time, thanks for watching.